What's going on YouTube? Uh, I got a different type of video for you guys today. Uh, I'll be working on the boat tomorrow, but on Sunday, uh, we are going to be going fishing to uh, Cayuga Lake, uh, which is in Cayuga, New York, if you're not familiar. And me, my dad, and Dave uh, are going out in his boat. On doing so, uh, I'm trying to limit myself to two rods and just a little bit of tackle. And uh, he's saying, like, we should only really need top water because, from what he's told, uh, we should be getting hammered by these fish. Uh, I'm probably not going to record while I'm out on the boat. Uh, I might. I'm not positive. Um, it is the eventual goal to start posting some fishing vlogs and whatnot, but uh, with, it, with it being three people and whatnot, I, I don't know if I'm going to going to try that yet, especially since um, I only have one GoPro uh, and I've been primarily using my phone for, the, for everything, so uh, I'm not quite sure if I want to uh, try that yet, but I figured I might as well go ahead and you know, show you guys some of the fishing stuff that I got, some rods, reels, and uh, some of the lures, just kind of a quick overview. Uh, it's not going to be probably a very long video, because honestly, I don't know what to talk about or really what to say, but I figured out I might as well show you. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, we have these. As you can tell, I... Love bait casters. I have four of those compared to the two spinners that I got. Uh, I have three Guggen rods, uh, two golds and one green, uh, due to me getting a membership of the Mystery Tackle Box. I was able to get one of these for free, and then I spent so much money and got that one for free. And then I just outright bought the other because I figured I might as well. But... My friend Dave got me into bait casters, and I love them. Uh, this is a weird brand. I've never saw this brand before. Until one day at Gander Mountain. I believe it's pronounced Sakana. Probably not, though. Pretty decent. It's a 7-1 gear ratio. It's my preferred ratio. Uh, I like the way that it retrieves. This is a Quantum Escalade. Haven't really used this one. It's got, got it brand new probably two years ago. And I haven't really been fishing, so I've been working up on the boat. Uh, I got another Sakana. Uh, I got these. I got one of these. One of these guys. Um first and then I really liked it and then I was able to go back and find it and they were on sale so I picked up another one and I was like might as well this guy here is a Bass Pro reel uh, I picked that up because uh, I needed a new spinning reel and we were down at Bass Pro and I thought hey might as well and picked it up now this guy is a little special to me uh, when I graduated high school my friend Dave, uh, well, Dave, the one that's been helping me build the boat, bought this for me. Uh, for my birthday, he actually bought me another one that was a, that was a Quantum, but it had such a weird, uh, a weird setup. The button was over here on the side, and I just could not figure out how really to use it all that well. So, he ended up buying me this reel, uh, for my graduation present, um, which... I love this thing so much. So this is a a bionic, a bionic, <laughs> bionic. Wow, it's a bionic reel. Uh, I haven't really seen too many of these anymore, but I love this reel so much. It has been with me since two thousand and nine, and I have had no issues with it, no complaints. Uh, it was the one that the one reel that I really learned how to use bait casters on and with and I I just love it. I love this reel so much. Which is why I put it on one of the Guggen rods because 
Uh, I haven't really used them too much, but I've heard good things about them. And of course, I mean, I do watch the Goon Squad, so I trust I trust them and their brand. So figured might as well put my favorite reel on one of their rods. I was going to put it on one of the Gold Series, but I figured, you know, I'll put one of these guys on here instead because, I don't know. I just really like the green and the red for some reason. Uh, and then last but not least, on the last Guggenrod here, is a, a Creed reel. So I got this one from uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle as well. It was on sale. And it seemed pretty nice. Uh, I used this reel once or twice so far uh, since I've had it. And it seems to work pretty well. Uh, I forget. This is the Creed 13 2000. And then I can't remember what the gear ratio of this is. Sorry, this is the 1 3. My apologies. Uh, this is a 5 2 to 1 gear ratio. It's not bad. Uh, I've I've enjoyed it. Uh, so I picked these two up today. I've never tried these baits, these little six cents, but they looked kind of cool, especially this one. So I thought I would give those guys a shot and see how that goes. Uh, but as for tackle, so I'm a fan of the uh, duffel bag here. Uh, I used to have a normal setup, and then I realized. I didn't have enough space, and Dave always used one, and then everything was just kind of thrown around in it, so I decided to do the same thing, but I like to have at least a little bit of organization, but some my rattle traps and whatnot. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about, about this guy. I forget where I picked him up at, but I wanted to try him. But yeah, so I got a Gotta figure out what I want to use here for topwater baits. Because I'm not quite sure what to bring. Alright, so obviously you can't really see it all that well, but so and when I was in high school, I was doing this one art class, and we were supposed to do something. And for whatever reason, I, I chose to do a bass with, like, little flies behind it. And I'm so glad that that's wearing off because it was terrible. I got an A, but <laughs> it looks so weird. Uh, okay, so this is one that I'm definitely bringing. So they, these are all my poppers and my frogs. So I got to definitely bring this because if we're doing top water, gotta got to bring poppers. I mean... You can't just not bring poppers when it says something about top water, right? Alright, these are all there's some plugs, but also some divers, so we probably don't need that one. These are all spinners and some daredevils, it looks like. Eh, nothing nothing real major there. And then oh yeah, some miscellaneous stuff there. Alright, well. I'm not sure what I'm going to bring. Uh, the, this little guy here I picked up at a garage sale. Not everything in it, but just this case in, in particular. And they only wanted 10 bucks for it. And the thing was like brand new. Um, so I picked it up. Uh, I might bring this. This is all my plastics. So I might bring that. But if I do bring that, I'll have to bring this guy. So I picked, uh, Dave gave me this. But... Uh, I put all my hooks and little small bait in here because this stuff is for like small fish, crappie, uh, bluegill, all that fun stuff. But I got all these nice little hooks and weights in here. And if I'm going to do some plastic stuff, I might as well bring that along. But, yeah. Uh, I just got to clean out this thing. Ugh, sorry. Oh, I figured... Why well, bring the big duffel? Well, I can bring this little small guy. This actually has all my Magic the Gathering stuff in it. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I like Magic the Gathering. I don't play it as much as I used to, and I don't really collect as much as I used to, but 
I have all my magic stuff in there. So I figure I'll clean this out, put stuff in here, and then I'll have this to go fishing with and two of my rods. I'm um, still trying to figure out which ones I want to bring as I'm, I have to get stuff to fit in my car. Most of these are not collapsible. Um, well, th the three Guggen rods aren't collapsible because I didn't know that they made collapsible until I already ordered these. I was kind of shocked. I didn't know that they had collapsible rods or else I would have picked some of those up, but oh, it happens. But I could bring these little jaw bones. So that's what the rest of the, the threes are here, the jaw bones. Uh, if you don't know the brand, it's Dick's brand. But I, uh, Dave picked up one of these because they're 10 bucks. And I really like the feel of them because of this right here. If you, if you use a bait caster, a lot of you tend to know if you have a big trigger here, it just feels weird in your hand unless you're used to it. But I really like the small one so you could grip it right. And these have them and I love it. But I got to figure out what ones I want to use. And then I got to take the lures off. As, uh, this or The only one that doesn't have one is this golden rod. The, the one gold Guggenrod. But I think I'll probably use this guy because he has a frog on up top and I I like to use the frogs. But I'll probably use this and then maybe I'll bring the uh, that guy there because the spinner with some top for some top uh, play there probably won't hurt. So I'll probably just bring those two. Though I would like to bring bring him but I probably won't. But all right, that'll do for now. Uh, again, I just wanted to give you all a small little, small little update, share this stuff. Um, of course, I said update, and I haven't even said anything about the boat. Uh, I mean, like I said uh, before, we are going to be working on the boat tomorrow. But um, I don't know how long we're gonna, or how much we're gonna get done, really. And sorry for the glare; I could have shut the blind, but. Got the windows open so we don't have the ACs in yet. Little window units. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not sure how much we're going to get done tomorrow or what we're working on. I'll record it as well, uh, but I'm not going to put it in this video. I'm going to make that its a standalone video, which is what I normally do for the boat. But since I kind of put this towards uh, being a fishing content channel, I might as well show my fishing gear. It's not a lot, but you know... I've been acquiring it since I was a kid, and it's kind of what I got for now until I can actually put more money into it and actually have more money to spend on it, which, who knows, maybe uh, Mystery Tackle Box, Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you guys want to, you know, if you're watching, feel free to sponsor. I'd love to have you. Uh, I actually love Carl's Bait and Tackle. Um you know, small little plug for them. If you if you don't shop there or don't know what it is, definitely look up look them up. I love their uh, I love their stuff uh, mainly because of the Guggen stuff. I mean, I I go on there and look, and you never know what you're gonna get. I love the mystery tackle boxes. They're really fun to really fun to use. But all right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Enjoy your your day. Your not sure when I'm posting this, but, you know, enjoy your Memorial Day. Take it easy.